Welcome to another edition of Frankly Green Bay, brought to you by Baumeister Soda. Today we got one of my buddies. He's a musician and he makes a living playing music. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Pat Shore. Welcome to another edition of Frankly Green Bay. I got my buddy here, Mr. Pat Shore. And who is this? This is Scarlett. Scarlett? How are you doing, Scarlett? You're on TV with Daddy. Is that crazy? It is. It is. Hey, let's go way back. I mean, you're a musician that's been around for a little bit. I mean, you're a little lot younger than me. But when did this guitar thing happen in singing? When did you first start doing this? I started playing drums. Drums? Uh, in, uh, in elementary school all the way up and then um, all the way through middle school. And a guy named Kevin Van Ness. Yeah. Was my, uh, he's kind of my mentor and yes. he's my band instructor. And he really got me into music. Then I switched to I guitar when I... Oh, really? Yeah, you... Drum is broken? Yeah. Okay, yeah. We'll get... Dad's going to get it fixed, maybe? Yeah. Okay, so Kevin Van Ness, love the guy. Washington Middle School, yep. know Kevin real well. Yeah. So you started with drums. Why did why'd you get into guitar? Um, I like to sing, and I like to write songs. Yeah. So I, I started playing guitar, picked it up, and learned some chords, and then you know, started going from there. Well, I love that. You got this soul in your voice, rhythm and blues. Is that is that your heart? Yeah, I love it. Yeah, Motown, um, old Tower of Power stuff. And when did you start getting in the band scene then? Um, when I was about 22 around yeah. with uh, buddy Augie Barnhart from the Money yeah. Letters and Liver Killers. So. so is that really where the where the band thing started? You got the taste for it? Yep, yep. He really got me into it and then started meeting other people from the scene and and, uh, and started forming bands and that's when Shaker and the Egg formed. And You were in the um, business world for a while. Yep. You were, you were actually working out there and what finally made you say, I'm going to be a musician full time? Um, I just, I wasn't, I wasn't happy. Yeah. I, I was kind of, I felt like I was blah. Like yeah. I wasn't getting getting my thrill in life. So I said, you know what? I'm just going to go for it and, and have some fun. I don't care if I take a pay cut. <laughs> I'm just going to be like, oh, I'll, I'll give it a shot. And it's been, it's been a good, uh, yeah, about 10 to 12 years. Pat, I've been following you for a, a while, man. And, and, you know, I just caught up with you the other day and asked you to come down here. Music is so important to you. So you're taking all that money and you're throwing it in, in, in a back room or something now that you're making? <laughs> yeah, yeah it's, it's going to the little ones. And, yeah, yeah no, it's, it's, it's great to be able to, to make a living doing it. And, and as, being as a dad. You, and being a dad. Let's yeah. talk about the, how many kids you got. I have two. Scarlett is is almost three, and Henry is two years old. Oh my God, a young family, so great. Do yeah. you write songs for them? I do, I do. Um, when she was about six months old, I wrote a song for her. So Shaker Ned comes yeah. around. Man, you guys were rocking and had it going on. You're playing all over. Yeah, having a lot of fun. Were you going statewide, or were you? Where were all? How many? How far did you travel? Um, we traveled regionally. We hit up Indianapolis, Cincinnati, um, Chicago area. Um, kind of cycled through that a couple times a year and then a lot of in Milwaukee but um, a, lot, a lot of our most fun shows have been just in town in Green Bay. Oh my god. Did you write all those songs? Um, all the, Yeah, we had a, we released an album. I got it. Yeah, and uh, we, we have about 12 songs that we've written. Okay. And so... So you got this solo thing going. Let's talk about the projects that you yourself are doing right now. What mm -hmm. do you got going on? Um, essentially, I just I keep the same drummer and bass player, and that's uh, Andy Klaus yep. from Shaker and Chris Hanaway on bass. He's amazing. Oh my Both god! Are. Yes. Um, and then from there, all the soloists I bring in, whether it's a fiddle player, mandolin, and different guitar player. So every show, it could be even some of the same songs, but it's going to have a different spin on it. Join us next week as we talk to Pat a little bit more about music. Oh, what a little cutie sitting on his lap. Pat, what a talented young man. Plays everywhere around the area. And we'll find a little bit more about him next week. All right, let's All talk right. about your entertainment. Hey, picks. number two, The Missiles. Tribute to Neil Young. If you haven't seen these guys, they nailed Neil Young at the Blue Opus on Friday night. Number three, Sex Ed and Sex Prop. Green, the Green Room. Get out there. It's a late show because it's an adult show. 11 sure. o'clock on Friday, 9.30 <laughs> so. on Saturday night. The, the folks at the Green Room. Number two, John Denver Tribute at the Forest Inn. I've seen this gentleman. He is fantastic. Sounds and looks like him. Number one, of course, closing night, closing weekend of my show, Vic Tanny. Where do you work out? Five great shows. Thursday, we got a matinee at 1, 8 o'clock, Friday, 8 o'clock, Saturday, 1 p.m. and 8 o'clock. You can't miss this show. It's too good. You look even more in shape since you've done Vic Tanny. I, I work out every <laughs> night on stage. It's all the spandex. All right. That's right. Franklygreenbay.com for details on tickets.